Oh, hi. Hello. I'm going to do something a little different today. Something a little exotic, new, exciting. I'm going to do a little shopping vlog. Haven't done one of those before, but I thought, you know what? It might be fun to branch out and try some new stuff, you know? It's, uh, it's the holidays. It's time to experiment and have fun. That's what we're going to do today. I got a little nice Christmas bonus from work. So I'm going to head to the Lego store here in Perth. I'm going to check out what they've got. Maybe buy some stuff. See how we go. Depends what they've got, really. And uh, then gonna look around see what other stuff there is here at the local shopping center might go to a few different places see what's up um, but I'll, I'll bring you along for the journey have some fun have a chat have a peruse of the Lego it'll be good it'll be real good so uh, come with me as I sit in this car I'm gonna get out of the car don't worry I'm gonna go to the shops but come with me on this journey let's have a good time I'll see you soon okay here we are at the Lego store let's see what cool stuff we can find in the store today yeah, right off the bat, they have the, um, like, Hedwig Hogwarts Icons set, I think it's called. I really like this set. Like, I don't know, there's just something so nice about it. It's so unique. I don't know, man. I have a think about this one. I kind of like this. I've been eyeing this for a bit. I don't know. It's really, really cool. But I, look, let's get in the store first. Let's see what other stuff they have. So a little, little, little swamped for Christmas, but there's still some decent stuff. You, you, classic creator sets and stuff. I, in general... There's some really cool stuff about this Lego store. I want to I show you a little bit about it first. Let me show you these, like, display cases they have. So, like, they, they're cool. I, I like them. I like the fact that it's just open. You can touch it if you want. But at the same time, I've, I, I feel like it kind of causes a bit of damage to some of the sets. I don't know. It's weird. Like, it's nice that it's open, but it, it's a little distracting. I don't know. Because sometimes some of these sets are just really damaged. Let me, let, me, let me show you this one. So here is what is left of the Daily Bugle uh, with this... Fabulous creation on top of it. Um, yeah, so it this used to be fully built and then it was just trashed one day and now they've kind of, I don't know, scattered it across this table like that's embedded in the glass sort of thing. It's weird, but cool. Guys, they have the Republic gunship. Why do they have to distract me like this? Why, why do they got to do me like this? I oh, God, I love, I love the Lat. I love the Republic gunship. It's probably one of my favorite ships in Star Wars and uh, I haven't seen it in person yet and it's making me want to get it. Again, there's another one I've been eyeing for a bit that I'm... um. Yeah, having to think about. Hmm. Hmm. We'll have to see. It's te it's so tempting to see it in person. The grand piano's here too. I don't know, like, I like this set. I think it looks fantastic, but there's a part of me that's like, it's just a big, like, display piece, and I'm not, like, super into the piano or anything, so I don't know, but it's still cool. I, I enjoy seeing it. Let's take a look at some of these uh, Marvel sets here. Got the Benator. Some other really nice stuff. There's, a, there's that Hedwig Owl set again, tempting me on the shelf. That seductress that owl is. Some other stuff. I don't know. Have a think about it. I'm not sure. Nothing's really grabbing me specifically. Um, what else we got here? What else we got here? Some Hogwarts stuff. I do like that. Uh, yeah. I do. I do enjoy this. Um, this Brothor set. Um, fantastic figures that I don't really see coming out in anything else. And I think the pieces in this and the colors and stuff are magnificent. So I don't know, I'd pick that one up. Some Jurassic World sets too. I mean, dinosaurs are cool, but it's not grabbing me as much. But this one grabs me, this Arisham set. I don't know, I, I love me my mechs. I feel like this is the closest thing we can get to a, to a Bionicle set these days. I do enjoy this one. Yeah. I, I kind of like this Disney castle. I like the fact that they're bringing out, like, smaller scale versions of bigger sets. And, and it's kind of really nicely designed. I love my micro scale stuff. I mean, the bigger version of it as well seems cool. Yeah, it's all very tempting, guys. This is the good... Th this is the bad thing about the Lego stuff. Everything... everything Everything looks good. More of these really open displays and stuff. Here's your friends, things and stuff. This is another open display that they have um, up here. Um, yeah, it's cool because it's nice to just see it out in the open. And you can touch it and stuff. You get this weird, I don't know, a look, like closer look at it with the sort of magnifying glass here. It's, it's cool. Again, you know, some pieces knocked over and stuff. That's the, the one drawback to the open displays. But they're, they're still cool. I like, I like looking at them. Some of the Star Wars stuff is a little depleted because of Christmas, but... Um, yeah, these Mando sets, guys. Oh, look at those figures. God, they're pretty. Look at that Fennec Shand. Oh, amazing. Yeah, might have a think about that one. <laughs> There's a lot of sets I'm going to be having to think about, to be fair, but this is, um... Yeah, it's a pretty good one, guys. Yeah, some other stuff. Nothing that really grabs me too, too much, though. Yeah, I kind of got most of these ones anyway, so... Don't tempt me, Republic gunship. Some of the adult focus sets, which look quite nice. That typewriter is really good. My, my dad actually has that. It's a fantastic set. Um, Seinfeld stuff as well is, uh, is down there. There it is. Um, Treehouse set is gorgeous. Always love that. I do enjoy this pirate ship set too. 
I think that's on discount somewhere else that we're going to be going a little later today, so I might wait on that one, but I do really like that. Um, yeah, have a cheeky think. World map as well, maybe. Um, yeah, God, I love that treehouse set. Fantastic set. Just, oh, so many beautiful colors and pieces that I use all the time. Adore this one. Yeah, decent enough selection today. It's pretty good. Some of the other adult focus set, like this modular building here. I've heard tell that there's discounts at uh, another store we're going to go to a bit later called Maya. So I'll wait on that one, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's getting up close to it. It's real nice. I just, I know, modular buildings are so nice with all the techniques and things that they got going on. It's, um, it's a good time. So yeah, probably buy it to build it, but I probably want to raid those pieces later for some mocks because it's, it's got, it's, it, it works in multiple departments there, you know, it's good. So yeah, nice little set here. So they've got some nice little like statues and things. This one here is of this lady taking a selfie with some quokkas. Quokkas are these like, I don't know, adorable weird creatures that are on this island that's sort of a, a bit sort of further out from Perth, where 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 this is, where where, where we live. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I think it's really well built. Um, it's fun. I always enjoy seeing these sort of like larger displays and things like this. Property of WA. Um, yeah. Ah, it's cool. The quokkas are well done, too. All that beautiful nougat. Very nice. Yeah, it's a cool little statue. It's fun. It's fun. They also got some other stuff you can kind of build on this one here with this uh, really nice, like, dog and the, the hot dog and the policeman with his surprisingly creepy face. I don't know. I don't trust this guy. But it's a good statue. It's good. This is awesome, happy little dude. Look at that. Look at that happy face. Look at that. What a happy chap. I like this one. This one's fun. We also got like a, I don't know, wall buildy thing. Yeah, just come along and build whatever. You got the little like kind of, yeah, nice stuff on it and the brick pit and stuff like that that you can kind of you know, build out of and things. So yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's fun. I probably won't build anything on it to be fair, but it's it's cool. They also got this nice mosaic of like the skyline in Perth as well with some of our, you know, buildings and things. It's a lovely sunset with this like spring yellow. Really nice. Really nice colors on this one. Yeah, it's, uh, I always like my mosaics. They're pretty cool to see. So uh, it's a nice highlight for the store, I think. The Pika Brick Wall. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what is on offer. It's, again, there's some missing spots because of Christmas. But um, there's still some pretty decent stuff. I, I don't know. I'll see what they've got. I might very well do a Pika Brick Cup. That's most of the reason I come here. So what have we got today? We've got some nice tan selections and stuff. Again, still some of your missing spots there. Uh, it, it's kind of just a lot of basic bricks today. Um, some of these lime pieces are new. I do think that I'll probably pick up some of these 2x2 um, two two dark uh, bluish gray pieces there. Very helpful. And my collection's running low after some mocks. So some teal. Love me my teal. Mark Stafford brought it back. Or killed, no, I don't know. He killed teal. It's back now. We're all happy. Greens and all sorts of things. Yeah, it's pretty good. Empty spots again, but... Uh, more lime stuff, like I said, that's that's a bit more new here. And some of these larger pieces too, I like them because like I'll use them and stuff, but like, you know, no, I won't use those ones because they're empty. But some of the larger stuff is harder to put in your picker brick cups there. A little little sneaky putting the bigger things in there. Some of those engine pieces and things as well. But yeah, it's kind of just your basic bricks today, you know. We had some carrots in the other day. I saw someone post a picture of it. Um, like the, the actual like orange carrot and the stem that went with it. Um, none of them here. I was hoping that there would be, unless I'm not seeing them. Doesn't look like they are. More teal. Sand green's nice. Tan. No carrots. I'll probably get some of that sand green, though. Um, yeah, no carrots. It's a shame. Still, pretty good selection. So we've left the Lego store and we've come to the most Australian store in the world. Toy Mate. Welcome to Toy Mate, ladies and gentlemen. Going to go inside for uh, some uh, interesting... I don't know. They, they have a nice Lego selection here. They, they, they claim to be the, the Lego specialists. So, Got ourselves another nice little sculpture here. There's some construction worker about to blow up the store. I mean, that's irresponsible. But uh, hey, it's a nice little statue. It's fun. I'd love to build one of these myself, honestly. I think it'd be really fun. But probably a bit of a challenge. But it still could be cool. So, yeah. Um, what else we got here? We've got a monkey kid. This middle wave of Monkey Kid, this current wave, I don't know, it hasn't... I, I love some of it, but other bits of it haven't quite got me. But this, new, this most recent wave of Ninjago. Ninjago, don't sleep on Ninjago, guys. There's some good stuff. But um, what else we got here? So pretty, pretty similar to what we were seeing before, honestly. There's that Arisham set. Do like that one. Some other Eternal sets. That whole Eternals wave is real good. 
have those sets, but those are some nice, decent prices. I do like this Minecraft set. I think it's just fun. I'm not f super familiar with Minecraft Dungeons, but uh, a bit of the Friends, and uh, yeah, it's okay. And Ah, my favorite Lego set, the Barbie Dream House. More Jurassic World. I do like this skeleton one, but I don't, know, I, I, I don't want to bite the bullet on it yet. I don't know. It's not grabbing me enough, but it's a cool concept. I like that they at least made it. You know, I can appreciate it. Other stuff here, some of the stunt sets. All pretty stock standard stuff, let's be honest. So, you know, not too, too bad, but nothing nothing that's really grabbing my attention just yet. Uh, they also have these, like, uh, display, you know, container-y things, the Lego brick stuff. They're cool, but I don't know. I don't think, I don't think they're something that I'd really want to grab, but, um, you know, we had a look. We had a look around Toy Mate. Let's go to Kmart, though, now. Let's see what's inside Kmart. Pretty... Pretty average, pretty much what we saw before. I do I do like this Harry Potter set. I don't know, I'm thinking more about this one. I do like that Basilisk, a few other things. Yeah, I'm gonna look away from it so I can think about it. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. More Eternals. Yeah, is so cool. Um, I like this Avengers set. Figures are decent enough. Um, more Lego City. Yeah, nothing I need, Kmart. Nothing I need. A koala, because this is the... This is Australia. Um, I don't know about this this set. It comes with a lot of pieces and stuff, but I'm just not vibing the specific parts you get. Even like Duplo, I don't know. There's nothing here. There's nothing here for me today, guys. There's nothing here for me. Let's go to Maya. I love me, my Maya. They've got some good deals today. Let's have a look. Beautiful, twenty percent off. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, maybe I can pick up. Maybe not some of this Harry Potter stuff, but some of these some of these Star Wars sets, like the uh, Mandalorian fighter and stuff. Might consider some of that. As long as they're... Uh, okay, alright. Well look, a lot of the more adult-focused stuff I can't get, but... Let's see what we get. Don't sleep on dots as well, just like Ninjago. Some good stuff, especially this, um, lots of dots sets. 22 bucks. For so much, for like a thousand, yeah, a thousand plus dots. Amazing, amazing price per piece. Fantastic set, guys. That's Australian dollars, of course. It might vary depending on where you are, but... Great set. Morning Jago, always tempting, always tempting. What else have we got here? Um, hmm, nothing that's grabbing me a huge amount. Oh. So here's what I was talking about. We got the Tumblr, normal price, but we got this beautiful police station modular building here, which is $50 off. Rare to see your modulars on discount, at least here in Australia. So I might be getting that one, boys and girls. That one looks pretty good. So yeah, just a good price. Look at it. Look at it. Gorgeous. Amazing. Yeah. So, world map. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Um. A few other different things here and there. But none of this is discounted. So, what the heck? Why would you put the Fiat 500 in there and then just nothing else? Just empty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it even says haunted house. Why isn't the haunted house in there? Alright, well, I mean, whatever. There's a big old display for nothing. Duplo... More your city stuff. I get mm. Well, how do we think about some of this? I don't know. I mean, I don't need my Duplo, but uh, and more of this. I mean, these sets are gorgeous, specifically that bookshop. I love that set, but none of it's discounted, so I don't know. Don't know about it. Oh, Ninjago Gardens, though. Beautiful. I'll have a think, guys. I'll have a think. Maybe we'll come back when there's a sale on these, but <laughs> I don't know if that'll happen, really. Let's go to David Jones, though, because they've had some 20% off on uh, some stuff, so let's go inside. David Jones. Yeah. They do have 20% off. Is there exclusions? It doesn't appear so. Mmm. Okay. Oh, oh okay. All right. Mmm. Spidey senses are tingling now, guys. It's time to... <laughs> time to look at these deals. Mm, nothing else amazing. I don't really want any of that. Um... Ecto-1, maybe, um, no, nothing crazy, Sesame Street, maybe, I do like the Sesame Street set, I prefer the UCS ATAT, Morning Jago, is that world map though, I, don't, I keep seeing that, I mean, hmm, I don't know, it is the largest set and stuff, just look away from it, I don't wanna, <laughs> don't look at me world map set, you just make me wanna buy you, um, I mean look, Sesame Street is pretty cool, but I already have one. I don't need to. I don't need to buy another one. It's a castle set, though. You guys know I like my castle. 
All right, look, I'm being, tempt I'm being tempted too much, guys. It's time to bite the bullet on a few things here. Yeah. Let's dive in, shall we? Oh, and this arrived today as well. So, a lot of Lego today. Okay, so let's go through all the stuff that we got today. So, I got the UCS 8080, which is uh, quite an exquisite looking set. So, pretty happy about that one. I also did get in the mail uh, the Hogwarts Castle, the kind of sort of UCS Hogwarts Castle. I don't know what you'd necessarily refer that as. But, um, yeah, excited to build that. I always enjoy a good castle build. So, this one looks pretty good. I also got the Republic gunship because, you know, Star Wars is the way to my heart. So, um, yeah, very excited to build that. Might probably build that one first. Also got Ninjago Gardens because I actually didn't get Ninjago Docks, but I have the Ninjago City and those sets are just exceptional. So, yeah, very excited about that one too. I'm excited about all of them, really. The Grand Piano, I know I said I wasn't super keen on it. This one's actually not for me. This is a present for my dad for Christmas, so sh don't say anything. But, um, yeah, hey, I'm sure he's going to really enjoy it. He has expressed big interest in that. Tumblr is also a gift for um, someone else in my family. So that was, uh, this, this one is certainly not for me, but uh, it still looks cool. I'm excited about it anyway. And then this is a present for more so my mum, but specifically a sort of parental present in that sense. They want to put it up in one of the walls and put, like, you know, studs on where they've been and stuff. So, again, not a present for me, but bought with love for my family. I also did get that Eternals Arisham set, which, yeah, I love me a good mech. So, yeah, this was a, this is one I'm excited about as well. The, uh, yeah, the Pirates of Barracuda Bay kind of remake Lego Ideas set as well. I got that one. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's just something really, really nice about this set. The uh, yeah, Hedwig Owl uh, Hogwarts Icon set as well. This is, I'm probably going to build this with my parents, or specifically my dad. Um, yeah, no, this is, this, this, I, it just, it got me, guys. It's a good one. Uh, yep, like I said before, the, um, modular, um, police station as well, which, like I said, I'll probably build it and then probably use the pieces later, because, yeah, it's both a great building experience and just a lovely bit of pieces in this set as well. I also got the Mando, uh, light cruiser set as well. The figures in that are just too nice to pass up, but, uh, I'm also just keen to build the set, uh, and, yeah, I mean, I'll probably take it apart later, because the pieces are also pretty nice, but, uh, yeah, this is a good one. I did get that Chamber of Secrets set. I probably, I don't know, I probably won't build this. I kind of mainly got this for pieces. I do have a mock in mind that I want to use some of the parts for with this one, but uh, very nice set. I also got the uh, the Benator, which I'm um, probably going to build on display, probably like in my room or something, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a very, very nice looking set. I got one of these castle sets as well. Awesome figures. It's castle. If you have a castle thing, I'm probably going to get it. Amazing looking set. Very keen to build this one. Also got the um, the Mandalorian little fighter set here with like Bo-Katan and Gar Saxon and stuff. Another great set. Phenomenal figures that I've been waiting ages for. So I'm glad I got this on sale. It's uh, yeah, it's stunning. I did get that Disney Castle set, the one I pointed out before. I'm I don't know. I like little micro scale builds like this. Again, I probably will use the pieces for this later, but I'm keen to to put it together. And then I also got two pick a brick cups as well. So yeah, inside the picker brick cups was a pretty decent selection of things. Some just sort of basic blue bricks, some of the lime uh, one by two bricks and one by four plates, uh, as well as one by two red plates and sand green and dark bluish gray. All stuff I'm gonna be using for some landscaping on a castle mock I'm building. Whew. So yeah, that's everything. There's quite a fair bit there. Um, this is a more <laughs> abnormal purchase for me. I don't tend to spend this big all in one sitting like this, but uh, you know, a lot of it was presents for other people. Other bits were stuff for me, and I've been saving up for a bit. So time for me to not buy Lego for like two, three months <laughs> while I recoup the funds. But um, yeah, so I'll be I'll be a busy beaver as I build some of these and stuff. But um, yeah, a nice little haul, L little haul, big haul, biggest I've ever done. But um, yeah, pretty cool. So hey, if you enjoyed this vlog, let me know. Might do some more.